how is everyone? I'm gonna wait a few minutes for people to hop. If you don't know who I am, I'm Robbie. I'm the photographer at Alamon Boudoir. Did you guys like the live photo shoot that we did yesterday? Did you get to to watch it? Even if you didn't get to watch it live, the video is still up there. Um, I actually also uploaded the video to YouTube. But yeah, I wanted to thank Stephanie again for joining us last night and like modeling for us. So Stephanie was actually one of our giveaway winners from last year. And, and see, this is why I love this. Like I meet so many amazing women and make so many new friends out of this. We like stayed in touch. I have Stephanie's notes for when she entered the giveaway last year. And she just wanted to do a photo shoot because she had lost like over a hundred pounds, which is amazing. And I, I, I actually quote here on here, but she says she wanted to be bold, brave, and beautiful. I'm going to steal that now, Stephanie. I love it so much. And she wanted to use a photo shoot to kind of rebrand herself, like introduce the new Stephanie out into the world. And she wanted to prove to herself that she can do anything and be the best version of herself. So that's a direct quote from, you know, when she entered the giveaway last year. So, and I love that. I love that so much. Like that's a huge, Huge, huge reason why I love doing what I do you know I just I get to meet so many amazing women from all sorts of backgrounds you know with so many different stories and seriously every story I feel is like inspirational you know and and it's just women like everyday women like you and me we can be an inspiration for each other and encourage and support each other and it doesn't take any like Seriously, like it, you don't have to be, you know, a firefighter fire, fighting fires to like be a hero for someone or to inspire someone, you know, like I'm inspired every day when I, you know, meet a new bombshell or talk to somebody on the phone, you know, like, like, yeah, especially during this giveaway, you know, talking to women on the phone, like every person i just love everybody's story and how it can be an inspiration for somebody else who's in the same boat as you you know like i just love it and yeah and i wanted to say thank you to all the women who've taken the time to chat with me because because i know it's kind of not comfortable a lot of women were nervous getting on the phone with me um and i i appreciate it i appreciate it so much hearing from you hearing your personal story and you know, like, you know, stories of struggle, but also stories of bravery and courage and strength, you know, and, and getting kind of vulnerable and sharing, you know, like intimate, you know, about your personal life. You know, I love hearing that, you know, because we could all, you know, relate to each other better, I think, if we shared you know, more of the struggles that we go through because everybody has struggles. Come on, everybody. And that's why I really, I wanted to focus tonight, especially for the bombshells I didn't get to talk to, you know, cause I wish I could, but I just can't talk to everybody. You know, I just don't have time or resources or breath. Like <laughs> there was days where like I lost my breath, my voice by the end of the day. Um, but yeah, I wanted to hop on here and kind of share my story with you guys and tell you like my background and how I got into boudoir and why I love it so much and, and share some of my struggles too, because you guys have been super open and honest and vulnerable with me, you know, so I want to do the same here too. So and I'm going to try to keep it short. So I don't have you here for the next five hours, but okay. So, um, little background on me. I was born and raised in Dallas, um, Dallas girl my whole life, still live here in Dallas. It's kind of funny. I actually bought a house like not far from where, you know, I grew up from. Um, but yeah, I born and raised here. Um, I actually went to UNT and, uh, when I graduated from UNT, I just had like a few different jobs, but but eventually I like landed on banking. So I did banking for several years. Um, and one day my branch closed down, you know, they, they shut it down. They merged with another bank. They had too many locations. They shut it down. I got laid off. And I remember coming home and telling my husband, like, I want to, 
I want to give it a go. I want to try and see if I can make like a career out of doing photography because I'd kind of always done it like um, as a hobby, you know, I actually, you know, like even like as a kid, like I had a camera, like my mom actually did some photography, you know, uh, she shot a few weddings and stuff. So she got me a camera when I was pretty young. And so I pretty much always had a camera with me, you know, and I even did it in high school, you know, for like the yearbook or whatever. Um, uh, we had a dark room, you know, this was way, there were no digital cameras when I was a kid. Okay. That's to t give you an idea how old I am. <laughs> I'm 45. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not hiding it. I'm proud and 45. So I turned 45 in March. So yeah, I learned you know, the old way, like, you know, um, and doing the dark room and, and developing the photos in there. And I just always liked it, you know? And, um, so when I was laid off, which was 15 years ago, it's actually, isn't it crazy? It's been 15 years since I've been doing photography is like my profession where that's all I'm doing, you know? So, so yeah, it's been 15 years. And when I first started, I really primarily became a wedding photographer and I was doing like, man, I, don't, I was doing like a wedding every weekend. Like I was slammed, you know? Um, and, and I would do boot and this was my introduction into boudoir. I would do boudoir photo shoots for my brides who were getting married and they would, you know, give a little album as a gift to their husbands on their wedding day. So really cute. So I got hooked, like I just loved it. I loved, you know, working in the studio. I loved how you can get kind of creative in a different way, you know, um, using boudoir. Um, I just loved it. So, so four and a half, it's actually been four and a half years now because it was, uh, when was it, 20? It was like February, 2020 that I opened up my own studio. So I have my own commercial studio now. We're in North Dallas, kind of by the Richardson Plano area. And uh, when I opened my studio, I really focused and concentrated on boudoir. And I built my studio to be for boudoir photography because I really wanted to, to focus on that, you know, and kind of like specialize in it because Something I noticed like when I did open my studio was that there's not a lot of studios in the Dallas area that cater. Well, it, you know, at least when I was looking back then, I kind of still feel like it's that way too now. But, but there wasn't like studios that were catering to women who look like me, you know, plus sized girls, curvy girls, you know, older girls, you know? So, so when I opened my studio, it was super important for me to be as inclusive as I possibly could be, you know, because I wanted every woman, any woman to walk in here, regardless of what she looks like or her size or her weight or, you know, um, age, anything. Like I wanted any woman to be able to walk in here, get pampered for a day, get glammed up, feel beautiful and walk out like feeling amazing. You know, like I want, I, it was super important for me to make every woman to feel welcome and comfortable here because I, I might start crying. So <laughs> I forgot to mention that I'm a big cry baby. So if I cry, just bear with me, okay? Um, but I used to be um, over 300 pounds, all right? When I graduated out of college, I was the biggest I ever was, okay? I was over 300 pounds. I was miserable. I felt, you know, worthless. I felt excluded, you know, when you're that size. You feel very, very excluded. You feel... They're, you're made to feel like less, you know? Um, you feel like you're not good enough, you're not pretty enough, you know? And you feel like you don't deserve. But but yeah, I was saying when I graduated college, I was actually the heaviest I ever was. I, I would weigh over 300 pounds. I know what it feels like to feel invisible, to feel like you don't matter, to feel like you don't deserve 
to be happy, to, you know, be loved, to, um, you know, love yourself. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, you know, when, like, at that point in my life, I just felt, you know, like I didn't like myself. You know, I just felt like I didn't deserve good things. I didn't deserve a good life. I didn't deserve love, you know, like, like I, I just, it's just in society too is very good at making, you know, overweight women feel that way, like feeling, feel unvaluable, you know, and it was super important to me when I opened my studio that no woman who walked in here felt that way because we all deserve to love ourselves. We all deserve to feel comfortable in our own skin, in our own body, the way we are. We all, we all deserve to do a photo shoot like this and we should be able to do a photo like shoot like this. Anybody should be able to do a photo shoot like this and deserve to feel comfortable here and deserve to feel confident in their own skin Everybody deserves to feel beautiful. I mean, it's just, everybody deserves to feel worthy. You know, I mean, that's just, I mean, at minimum, bare minimum, I feel like, you know? And uh, let me get back to my script before I just start bawling like a baby. Um, yes, I, I, I think I did hit everything. I said, we all deserve that. We all deserve to love ourselves, you know, and to feel worthy, you know, because we do, we all do. I don't care what you look like, you know, I'd say this all the time and it sounds so corny, okay, but it's true. There are no ugly people. There are only ugly attitudes. I so believe that, okay, because yeah, you could be the most beautiful supermodel magazine looking person, but if you're like mean, you know, uh, or make anybody else feel less than they deserve to feel like you're ugly to me. Like, mm, nah, mm, yeah, no. Uh, because nobody, I don't care who you are. Nobody is perfect in this world. Absolutely. Nobody is perfect. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. None of us is perfect, but that doesn't mean that we're not good enough. That doesn't mean that you don't deserve love, you know? That doesn't mean that you don't deserve to feel comfortable as you are, okay? I'm getting worked up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just, it ticks me off sometimes, you know? Like, because I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like to be made to feel like you're inferior, you know? And people who make people feel that way, that's my pet peeve like that's mm, yeah like i can't i i don't put up with that you know i will cut you out of my life i will i've done it because i am prioritizing me now okay and it took a long time to get here and i'm not gonna lose it now <laughs> okay that was it on the script <laughs> um yeah and i have and you know yeah 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 because because also, you know, just as a reminder, the fact that, yeah, okay, yeah, none of us is perfect. You know, that's another thing too that I feel like that we don't talk about a lot as women in general is the fact that, you know, yeah, none of us is perfect. We all have insecurities. Like everybody, even women who I have met, who I think and these are so these are stereotypes you know that we have to change but like somebody comes in here and i was talking about like and this is something we should talk about more you know how we all have insecurities about something you know even women who maybe we think have the perfect bodies um and the perfect lives you know and i, I say that on purpose with the quotes you know because we don't know what anybody is struggling with like at all like none, we can see somebody and we can think they have the perfect body and the perfect life and blah, 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 blah. But I guarantee you that that woman has insecurities about something too, because I feel like it's just human nature. Like we all have insecurities. We all have self doubts. We all have things we want to change about ourselves, you know? 
Um, and then once you say you're on a weight loss journey and you meet a goal, there's just going to be something else then later after that. You know what I mean? Like it's just, that's how, I don't know if it's human nature or what, but you know, none of us is getting any younger. Okay. Like we got time working against us, you know, um, moms, I, I talk to so many moms too, who struggle with, you know, their new bodies after they have kids and like, yeah, having kids is going to change your body. You know, your body will never be the same again. Your body did something amazing, like amazing. Like it's never going to be the same again. And why, you know, why do we have expectations that it should? Like it's, sh it's not going to be the same and that's okay. Like that is okay, you know? And then I feel like, you know, after you have kids and now we got to worry about menopause, like it's like, pfft. Like everything's working against us, I swear to God. Like everything, like guys will never, ever, ever get it. Like, it's like everything in the world is working against us, you know? Cause it's like bam, 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 one thing after the other, you know? And then like, don't even get me started on social media <laughs> because, and, and like even marketing, like ads, commercials, you know, um, all that stuff, you know, it's like all day long, you know, it's like, Ooh, do this for this, like improve this, like get this better, like get rid of your wrinkles, you know, get your shiny, gorgeous hair, you know, beautiful skin, you know, lose weight, lose weight, lose weight, like everything all, you know, is like lose weight, lose weight, like on my feed and you know, these ads, you know, like no wonder we have, you know, uh, self-esteem issues, like literally day in, day out, like everything everywhere is like telling us like we're not good enough you know we got to do something to be better and get better and look better and blah 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 like like no wonder we feel the way we feel like it i would be shocked if you didn't feel that way you know in some way you know it's like something's always working against us you know and then like influencers on instagram they're only showing you like you know, they have like great bods and like, you know, perfect clothes and the perfect purse and like the perfect kids that like look perfect and like their house is always clean and like, that's not real. Like, I'm just, that is not real, you know? And then it just sets us up for like these unrealistic expectations, which we're never going to achieve. So then we're always going to feel like, you know, we're coming up short. Like, it's just like this ruthless cycle, you know? And like, no wonder we like have self-esteem issues, you know, or confidence issues or don't feel good about ourselves. Like literally it's like something everywhere every day is like telling us we're not good enough and we got to do something to change it to like, you know, get better or whatever, you know, like, I mean, it's, you know, and no, no wonder we're so hard on ourselves. No wonder we're like, so we're our own worst critics, you know, like we really, well, I know I do, I, but like we beat ourselves up, you know, when we don't lose the weight or, you know, have the perfect skin, you know, like I'm 45 years old. I still have breakouts, you know, like, um, all this stuff, you know, this year, this year, 45 years old is the first time I ever wore a two piece bikini. Okay. Like it took 45 years for me to feel comfortable enough in myself to do that, you know, and I wore it out, you know, it wasn't like, you know, my, I don't have a swimming pool, but it was like, you know, out like at a public pool, you know, like it took 45 years for me to get there, you know, like, like we're so hard on ourselves, you know, and that's one thing that I'm constantly working on is like, the way I talk about myself in my head, you know, that little voice in the back of your head. I like, I, you know, I always, I'm always catching myself, like saying something negative to myself in my brain, you know? And then like, if somebody gives me a compliment, you know, I feel like a lot of us do that. Like somebody gives us a compliment and we're like, oh yeah, thanks. But, you know, like we're always starting to butt in there. Like we're always trying to like, you know, deflect the the compliment you know like that's another thing i'm working on for myself like those little things make a difference like we should you know um you know talk to ourselves in a kinder way you know because none of us is perfect none of us has the perfect body the perfect life 
perfect anything. And that's okay because that's life. That's real. Like we're all getting older. You know, your body changes when you have a kid. That's out of your control. Like, I mean, this is reality. And I love how a photo shoot can help women like open their eyes to just seeing themselves in a different way where you can learn to love and accept and be comfortable the way you are right now. Like, whatever that is, you know, and you deserve that. You deserve to feel that way and you shouldn't feel guilty about it either. You know, you shouldn't feel shame, ashamed to have that confidence, you know, and wear that bikini even if you're a freaking plus size girl, you know, like, yes, like you deserve those things, you know, you deserve to feel comfortable in your body and in your own skin and accept compliments, you know, because we all do because nobody, nobody's perfect. Come on, give me a break. Like we should be good the way we are, you know? And I love how a photo shoot can like just open your eyes to like seeing that beautiful side of yourself that it's there. It's in all of us, you know, we're all beautiful in our own way, but like we don't see it when we look in the mirror. I mean, even me, like today, like we look in the mirror and all we see is like, oh, all the things we want to change, you know, and all the bad things. And, uh, oh, but this isn't this. And I got this wrinkle here. And like, I'm so self-conscious about this here. Like the ring light's good at washing it out, but like, I'm getting like a line right here. You know, I'm so self-conscious about that. You know, like that's all I see when I look in the mirror. I love, 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 love how you can do a photo shoot and Next time you look in the mirror, you don't see those things you don't like. You see the things you do like, you know, and you start appreciating what you look like right now. And you start appreciating yourself, you know, and and I hope and pray that like then that will lead to you loving yourself a little bit more, you know, and like being a little more comfortable the way you are and, 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 and having a little more confidence, you know, when when you go out and wear that bikini or whatever, whatever, like just having a little more confidence in the way that you are today, you know, because ain't none of us perfect, you know, and you're beautiful just the way you are. I'm beautiful just the way I am. And I love how a photo shoot can like help us appreciate that, you know, like, like I love how, you know, I can have like moms come in to do photo shoot and it's like, and seriously, we cry. We cry like babies. They're like, they they kind of feel how they feel like themselves again, you know, because you, you, you have kids, you start a family, you start taking care of them, and then that's your life, you know, and you kind of lose yourself a little bit, you know, and you, and, and you stop feeling sexy and you stop feeling, you know, like, like, you know, woman and, and, and I love how this can open their eyes and as a reminder, like, you're still there. You're still in there. Okay. You're still there. You never went anywhere. And I love doing that and showing that to women, you know, and, 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 and then, and, and or even like women who, you know, who like are going through menopause or something, you know, and they, they like just don't feel sexy or they don't feel like themselves, you know, they just don't, because we go through so many changes as women, like seriously, so many changes that men never have to deal with, you know? I mean, it's no wonder we have so many struggles with, you know, feeling good about ourselves, you know? Uh, Cause we have so many things working against us, you know? But, <clears throat> but I love how a photo shoot can help women just, you know, feel more beautiful and sexy again, you know? And after feeling like they've kind of lost that a little bit, you know? And, and, and oh, I love this, okay. I love, okay, so this is a nobody's comfort zone, okay? Very rarely do I get a woman that comes here and they're like ready to go, you know what I mean? And and, and like, you know, they weren't nervous about their photo shoot at all, you know? Like, that's rare. Like, most women are so nervous about doing a photo shoot. Like, for most women, this is off the radar, like this is totally out of, of their comfort zone. You know, I get it. Like, this is like intimidating, 
You know, it's very intimate. You're, you're, you're walking in here and you're opening yourself up to, you know, it's, it's vulnerable. You know, you're like, put it like, number one, most of us don't feel comfortable in lingerie in our house with nobody there, <laughs> but like putting on lingerie in a studio in front of me, like, <laughs> like a stranger, like, yeah, this is not in most women's comfort zone. Okay. It takes courage to come here and do a photo shoot. That's why I, I, that's why I feel so lucky anytime a woman chooses me to do a boudoir photo shoot because I know how hard it is, you know, it's nerve wracking, you know, but I love, like Stephanie said, like, I love that once, you know, somebody comes in here and they're so nervous and they're super shy and they're like, you could tell like they still, they're, they're not sure they're ready to do this. And then by the time we're done and they're walking out, they're like, I could do anything. You know what I mean? Like they just like hold their head up high and they walk out of here proud of themselves and, and, and they get this amazing confidence boost. And then if it's like, okay, you, you conquered this, you did that boudoir photo shoot and you killed it, you know? And you can go out there and do anything. Like seriously, I have so many bombshells that would like text me or email me after their photo shoot and tell me how, you know, after they did a photo shoot, they, it gave them the confidence to do something else that they would have never done before. That was something else that was out of their comfort zone. Like, like I literally, I've, I legit have had women tell me that they've applied for job promotions because they did a photo shoot just because it gave them that confidence boost to to do it you know or like I had one girl who like I still think about this so much because um I get massages like on the regular because uh especially when I was doing weddings you know like it's really good physically for your body you know I had a girl she was like Robbie I'd never gotten a massage before like ever in her life because she was so self-conscious about her body, you know, and being in that situation, you know, cause that's an intimate situation too. And she went and she got a massage and she was like, I don't even know why I was worried about it before. She was like, I don't know why I t waited so long. You know, she was like, that was nothing. I was like, you know what? This is me. And if you don't like what you see, well, that's your problem. And I'm like, yeah, it's like, you know, and, and then I've had women, like I remember this one too. I have actually two two situations I, I remember. Like I had one girl, and I don't, I'm in the habit of saying girl, one woman who she said she, I, I want to say if I remember right, she was married for like five or six years. And she said she had never ever in her marriage undressed in front of her husband. She was too self-conscious to do that in front of him. After she did the photo shoot, she was like, texting me like, you know, where'd you get this lingerie, Robbie? Where'd you get this outfit? Like she was buying up lingerie. She wanted to show it off in front of her husband, you know? And then like another woman I had, like she told me that um, she'd never taken a shower with her husband. And afterwards she did. And she like just felt so good about herself and so confident, you know, and like comfortable comfortable to the point where she could do that, you know? And like, it's amazing, just the little, th even just the little things, not like, you know, a, a job promotion, you know? Like just even these little things, you know, that it can change your life for the better, you know, and open up new doors for you. And it just sounds so crazy, I know, like a boudoir photo shoot, like, yeah. But you just have to experience it for yourself, seriously, to to know what that feels like, you know, and to get that confidence boost, you know, and what it can do for you. And I think that's what I like the most about it is like, it just opens up doors for women. And and now there's women out there living out, living their best lives, you know, because just because they did a boudoir photo shoot, because it just, it, it's that impactful. It's that powerful, you know, and I don't even think it has to do with the photo shoot. Honestly, I don't even think it has anything to do with that because it, it doesn't really even have to do anything with the pictures. It's like what's it's what's more important is how you feel about yourself, you know, and and it can change how you feel about yourself. And that is everything. Like, it's not even about the photo. It's it's about how you feel about yourself. And that's the key to everything else in life, you know, to loving yourself more, being kinder to yourself, you know, feeling more comfortable, 
you know, in your own skin. Um, you know, feeling more confident and empowered to make those changes and do those things. I've had women, I had a girl, she said, Robbie, after I did a photo shoot, I filed for divorce. She like was in a marriage. She was unhappy. She said she stayed because she felt like she couldn't do any better. After her photo shoot, she was like, you know what? I can do better. And you know what? I deserve better. Oh my God. I love it. Like, I have that. I have... I have that video. She did it. She told, She said that on the video when she came back to look at her album and pick up her album here, um, which you don't have to. I can ship it to you. But she chose to pick up her album here, which I love because I get to see you guys again. But yeah, look on YouTube. I have that on video. I was like, I was kind of shocked. I was like, like a photo shoot did that. Like there is nothing else out there that's like this. Like that's another thing I love about Boudoir. It's just like, there's just nothing else quite like this that can have this kind of like impact on how you feel about yourself, you know? I, or if there is, I don't, but I haven't come across anything else like that. In photography for sure, like there's just, but I love boudoir, it's my favorite. I tell people all the time, I have the best job in the world and it's because of you guys, because you guys are the best, you know? But yeah, I just, I, I mean, I, <sighs> I mean, ha, you know, I, there's nothing else I want to do anymore. <laughs> you know, like this is it for me. I'm hooked. Like it's the best job ever. I, I meet so many amazing women. Um, and two, like, just like helping other women also helps me. Like I feel amazing after every photo shoot too. Like, it's like, I get like, like a contact high or something like I start feeling like the same way. Like I start feeling amazing and beautiful, and gorgeous and confident. Like I could do anything, you know, and, and I need it because I'm telling you that like, it's a constant, like, you know, uh, yeah, it gives you a confidence boost, but it's not, you know, like you got to keep working at it, you know? And that's what I love about it. That these women, it's giving them the confidence to do those other things too because you do you do have to keep working at it like i have to keep working and like reminding myself to be kind to myself and say nice things to myself and like you know um not deflect those compliments when people give them to me you know like that's something you work on day in day out like sometimes minute by minute you know because some some days like i feel amazing and beautiful and and like, I could do anything. And then the next day I, you know, can feel down in the dumps. Like I'm not good enough. I can't do nothing. All my pictures are terrible. I feel like I'm the worst photographer in the world, you know? And then the next day I feel like I'm the best one in the world. Like, it's just like a roller coaster. Like I, I just think it's like just the nature of like, I, I think we're all like that. We all have struggles like that, you know? So it's something that we just have to work on every day. And that's why I love the group too. Like, because it's just a reminder, you know, even if it's a little reminder every day that you are worthy of like self-love, self-care, you know, you're worthy of good things, happiness, joy. We all deserve that. We all deserve that. And I say it all the time too, like, it's never too late for anyone. I've talked to so many women, literally have changed their lives. I mean, 180, you know, doing the hard things. I, older women than me, I'm telling you, it's never too late to start being kinder to yourself, to start prioritizing yourself, to start taking care of yourself, to start saying yes to yourself because you do deserve those things you know i say this all the time too like if you're not hurting anybody you do you like do you who cares what anybody else thinks you know who cares what they think you know if you're out there in a bikini like and you know what i will tell you i was out there in my bikini okay all 200 plus pounds of me all right i'm a size 20 Eh, sometimes 22. I was out there in that bikini. And do you think, you think anybody looked at me twice? Like, nobody cares. Like, come, you know, live your life. Like, everybody's out there busy living their lives too. Like, you, you do you too. You live your life. Like, who are you? 
Like, what do we, what's, what's, I don't know. I think it's us. It's us that are holding ourselves up. You know, it's us that are like, you know, with that self critiquing and that self doubt, like we're our own worst enemy. Like we're, it's us, you know, keeping us from doing what we want to do. You know, like it's a constant battle. I swear, you know, like, like I like today, like I probably wouldn't put that bikini on today. Like, you know, like we just sometimes, you know, you feel great and amazing and sometimes you don't. You just have to work on it. Oh my God, Molly. Yes. Life is too short. Oh man. Like life is too short. You do not know what's going to happen tomorrow. Like I've gotten to that point, you know, in my age where like, I don't want to, you know, be on my deathbed regretting that I didn't do the things I wanted to do, you know? Because life is too short. Like, life is not guaranteed. Nobody is guaranteed tomorrow. So why do, why are we putting off the things that can make us happy? Like, I mean, it's so worth it. It's so, you're worth it. You deserve it, you know? And, and if a photo shoot can help you get there, you know, can just give you that little boost to get there, you know? That little push. Like, it's worth it, I promise. It's so worth it. Like, it's worth all the nervousness, you know, to come in here and put yourself out there. Because that's another thing, too. Like, the, the, things, the things that are worth it are hard, you know? But the results... Like the end, what you get on the other side of it doesn't compare at all. You know, it, it doesn't compare like it's the, 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 the nerves doesn't compare to how amazing you're going to feel afterwards. You know, like it's just, it's so worth it. I seriously, you are worth it. You know, that's what we are all worth it. That's, that's all. I, I just want every woman that comes in here to feel worthy, to, to, to walk out of here, just loving themselves a little bit more, saying yes to themselves more often, taking care of themselves, being kinder to themselves. I say this a lot too, like we're so quick to give other people grace, but then when we try to turn it in ourselves, it's so hard. Why? Why? Why are we, why are we putting ourselves at the bottom of the, of the, I know because we're busy, we're raising families, working, you know, all that stuff. You know, I feel like in society too, like women get very marginalized, you know, like we're literally like, you know, we're given baby dolls as kids. Like we're, we're like prepared to become mothers from day one, you know, and like you, you take care of other people, like, you know, other people all the time, you know, then you take care of your parents if you need to, you know, or brothers, sisters, whatever, you know, then you're taking care of everybody at work, you know, and then you're taking care of your husband too. Like, like we're just natural caregivers, you know, and then we forget about ourselves, you know, and then like, I say this all the time, you can't pour from an empty cup. You cannot take care of other people if you're not investing in yourself and investing in yourself and taking care of yourself helps everyone, you know, like then you can be a better mom to your kids, be a better example for your daughters, you know, you know, that's so important too. Like I've talked to so many women about that too. Like they want to do a photo shoot because they, they, they're always telling their daughters, you know, love yourself. You're beautiful the way you are, you know, don't, don't obsess over weight, you know, like you're, you're beautiful. You're perfect the way you are, you know, but then like they don't, feel that for themselves, you know, like, and so, and I've talked to women who like, they want to do a photo shoot because they want to see that in themselves and they want to be that for themselves the way they are for their daughters. Like how powerful is that? It's so beautiful. I love that so much, you know, and I've had women too that come in and they're like, you know, I caught myself the other day. My daughter was looking at herself in the mirror and she said she felt fat. And she realized that she learned that from her. So now she really tries and focuses and makes an effort to say nice things about herself when she looks in the mirror or at any time, you know, like 
it's so important. Like that is so important. The way we talk to ourselves, the way we talk about ourselves out loud. So, so important. Like that stuff is, it's like a virus that just like gets in and like, you know, like just puts, digs its claws in. Like it's so hard to get out of that, you know, and to get it, you know, out of your system, you know? Yes. Yes, T, words are so powerful, especially the words you use on yourself, especially the words you use on yourself. It's not easy. I work on it every day. Every day I got to work on it. Every day, including today, I have to work on it. It's, there's no magic cure, okay? We just got to work on it every day. And we got to help each other through it, you know, encourage each other and, and you know, be those positive role models for young women, you know, because we got to... We gotta break this cycle because it's exhausting. Like being a woman is exhausting. Like seriously. <laughs> anyway, okay. I've done pretty good stay to my script, even with like all these tech issues today. But I, I wanted to finish up real quick just saying thank you. Just saying thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the women who have trusted me to do a photo shoot. Oh my god, thank you so much so much. I, I truly, I, I'm so honored when somebody decides to do a photo shoot with me because I know it's not easy. Thank you to all the women who have been talking on the phone with me. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your stories with me and getting vulnerable with me and sharing your struggles because we need to talk about that stuff more often. You know, like nobody, ha nobody's perfect. Nobody's out there living the perfect life, but that's okay. That's reality. And there's nothing that says that you can't be happy, you know, even with struggles, you know? So thank you. Thank you to everybody. Seriously, every woman that has walked into this studio has touched my heart in some way. And I appreciate it so much. Anyway, <laughs> just thank you. That's all I wanted to say. So, and, and yeah. So anyway, thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching the live tonight, you know, and, and your comments and everything. I appreciate it so much. Um, yeah, the giveaway is going to come to an end tomorrow. Tomorrow at 7 is when we're going to announce the five lucky winners for the free photo shoot. I'm so excited. I felt like like forever, like it was never gonna get here, you know. Oh, Katrina, thank you. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Oh, Dylan, thank you. Thank you for joining us and, you know, chatting on the phone with me. And thank you, Glinda. I know we gotta, see, we gotta do this. We gotta do this more often. Like we gotta breathe positivity into each other's lives. You know, life is hard enough out there. For everybody, you know, like, I really, really feel like, you know, we all have struggles and it's hard to stay positive and it's hard to, you know, like, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's hard to, to, to love yourself sometimes. I know because I haven't always loved myself and, um, yeah, I, I appreciate you guys so much. Really. I love all of you. Love Stephanie, thank you again for modeling us for us yesterday. And um, good luck to everybody tomorrow for the giveaway. So we're gonna do it tomorrow at seven o'clock. So tune in. Bye guys.